Programming languages are the primary pillars for any software, but when you have to select one for your project, it might seem confusing and it just gets worse when the competition is between Python and C++. So if you are eager to witness which language is better between the two, here is Bajiha from Edureka with an exciting new session on Python versus C++. To begin with, we shall start with a small introduction to C++ and Python, and then we'll be comparing both these languages based on a few comparison factors like compilation, performance, scope of variables, functions, garbage collection, rapid prototyping, type checking, application areas, usage in AI, popularity, most loved, most wanted, and the salaries that are drawn by the developers of each of these languages. So before we begin, just make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest Edureka videos. Also, if you are interested in getting an online training certification in any of the training technologies, check out the link given in the description box below. So without any further delays, let's move on. Talking about C++. C++ is a general purpose programming language that was created by Yarnes Strustrop. It was an extension of the C programming language. It is considered as the most important and basic requirement to understand object-oriented style of programming. The C++ programming language is loaded with many performance-oriented features such as a rich library, object-oriented approach, memory management, recursion, etc. So talking about the rich library that is available in C++, C++ language incorporates multiple built-in arithmetic and logical functions along with many built-in libraries which make development faster and convenient. Object-oriented approach. C++ is designed to be an object-oriented programming language. OOPS features make development and maintenance easier, whereas in procedure-oriented language, it is not easy to manage if the code grows as the project size grows. C++ is compiler-based. This means that without compilation, no C++ program can be executed. First, we need to compile our program using the compiler and then we'll have to execute it. Memory management. C++ provides the best-in-class memory management. It can allocate as well as deallocate memory dynamically at any instance of time. Recursion. C++ supports function backtracking, which involves recursion. In the process of recursion, a function is called within another function multiple number of times. Pointers. C++ enables users to directly interact with memory using pointers. We use pointers in memory, structure, functions, arrays, stacks, and many more. Extensibility. The C++ programming language is highly extensible because of its easily adaptable features. Structured language. C++ is a structured language which includes the use of functions. Functions reduce the code complexity and are totally reusable. Coming towards Python. Python was developed by Guido van Rossum back in the 1980s and its implementation began in 1989. Python was named after the TV series Monty Python's Flying Circus. It was the successor of the ABC language and was capable of exception handling as well as interfacing with Amoeba operating system. Python was led by Guido van Rossum for 30 years. As of now, the leadership of Python is shared by a five-member bench. The latest version of Python, that is Python 3.8, was released on 14th October 2019. Talking about the features of Python. Python has a huge set of incredible features. It is an interpreted language, meaning the instructions are executed directly without being compiled previously. It is very much readable and understandable. Python is a cross-platform programming language, which means the code written once can be executed on any of the platforms with minimum or no changes. Python can be treated as a structural language, scripting language, object-oriented language, or a modular language. Python can also be integrated with languages such as Java, C, or C++. Also, it is free and open-sourced. Okay, so now moving on, let's take a look at the differences between C++ and Python. C++ and Python both are object-oriented programming languages as I've already mentioned earlier. However, they are very different when compared to each other. So first of all, let's talk about the simplicity. By simplicity, we refer to the ease with which you can write the code. Python is much simpler when compared to C++. This is because C++ requires you to write too many lines of code. But with Python, the same can be achieved within a few lines. Syntax. 
Syntax basically defines the set of rules in programming language that are used to define the symbols present in the program. Every programming language has its own syntax. In case of Python, the syntax is much simpler as it is designed to resemble the English language. Python makes use of white space characters to distinguish between different blocks of code. In C++, you will have to make use of curly braces to mark different blocks of code. Not just that, there are many other syntax constraints like declaring variables, using semicolons, etc. Compilation. Compilation is the process where the compiler converts the high-level programming language into machine-level language for the computer to understand it. Python is an interpreted language and it runs through an interpreter during compilation. C++, on the other hand, is a pre-compiled programming language and does not need any interpreter during compilation. Performance. As mentioned earlier, Python is an interpreted language that focuses on reducing complexity and optimizing programmer efficiency. However, this comes with the cost of compilation speed. C++ has the advantage of being statically typed or compiled language. The performance crown goes to C++ for creating more compact and faster runtime code. Therefore, in applications that have high performance dependencies, C++ would be a better choice than Python. Scope of variables. Scope of variables refers to the region of the code where the variable can be accessed. In Python and C++, you can specify both local and global variables. However, in Python, the variables that are declared within loops can be accessed outside the loops as well. But the same is not possible in C++. Functions. Python functions do not have restrictions on the type of argument and the type of its return value. In C++, the function can accept and return the type of value which is already defined. Garbage collection. Garbage collection refers to recovering memory by clearing variables and data that is no longer in use. For efficient memory management, Python provides built-in garbage collection system. C++ on the other hand does not require garbage collection as it has no garbage. Rapid prototyping. Rapid prototyping is possible with Python as code is small. Whereas with C++, it is not possible as the code size is large. Type checking. Python is dynamically typed language where the type checking takes place during runtime. C++ is a statically typed language. Therefore, all the variables that are used need to be explicitly declared and determined at compile time. Application areas. Python is mainly used in web applications, desktop GUI applications, software development, scientific and numeric fields, business applications, etc. C++ finds its use in areas such as gaming, database softwares, etc. Usage in AI. AI or artificial intelligence is one of the most in-demand technology trends in today's world. AI is going to change the world more than anything in the history of mankind, more than electricity. When it comes to AI, you can make use of Python as well as C++. But most developers prefer Python as it provides a huge set of dedicated AI and ML libraries. Popularity. Python has huge community support. When it comes to popularity, beginner and novice programmers turn towards Python. C++ has dedicated followers online, but only people who have some experience in the field show a lot of interest in C++. Also, Stack Overflow 2020 Developer Survey places Python at the fourth place when it comes to popularity and C++ is at the 10th position. Most loved language. According to Stack Overflow's Developer Survey 2020, Python is ranked third when it comes to the most beloved programming languages. However, C++ is not present in the top 10 list. Most wanted language. In the same survey, Stack Overflow grants the first place to Python with 30% demand. C++, on the other hand, is at the seventh place with 8.6%. Salaries. When it comes to average salaries drawn by Python and C++ developers, Python developers seem to have an advantage with about $59,000, whereas for C++ developers, it is around $53,000 globally. So this brings us to the end of the session. I hope you guys have enjoyed and learned something new. In case you have any doubts or queries, please do let me know in the comment section and I will revert to you at the earliest. Also, do let us know whether you like to select Python or C++ along with the reason for it. We'll be back with more and more exciting sessions. But till then, goodbye and take care. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. 
Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!